Hello guys, welcome back to the C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. Today our topic is about the, the to why the distribution bars used in the RCC slaves. Usually there are two main types of the bars are the reinforcement used in the RCC slave. For example, if I consider this is the slave and this is the one with slave, right? I'm considering this is the one with slave and these are the columns supported by the column so this slaves has two sides one is the longer side and one is the shorter side so when the longer to the shorter side ratio is greater than two or equal to two so we call this type of the slave is the one with slave right this type of slave is known as the one with slave and this type of the slave the bending movement is maximum along the shorter direction along the shorter direction and we place the main bars along the short direction so we place the main bars along this direction which is the shorter direction because now the load is coming more load is coming on the shorter direction as compared to the longer direction that's why we place the main bars along the short direction so these are called as the main bars main bars but now there is not much load coming on the along the longer side but we but we place the some reinforcement along the longer side right with the maximum spacing we do provide the maximum spacing between these bars and these bars on the top of the main bars are known as the distribution bars so but the question is that why we provide this type of the bar is uh, as main bars are taking the load is main bar are responsible to take the tensile load and the compressor load so the purpose of the distribution bars is to resist the shrink stresses the temperature stresses and the creep stresses there are basically three type of the stresses coming and these three are uh, resisted by the distribution bars what type of these stresses are the first one is the temperature stresses temperature stresses right the second one is the creep stresses and the third one is the shrinkage stresses shrinkage stresses so the temperature stresses are those stresses which are create due to the change in temperature so due to the change in temperature this portion of the uh, of the of the, of the slab the whole slab actually compress and tension during the change in temperature when in cold condition it shrink actually so what happens there are stresses creates uh, during the shrinkage of this slab so of the concrete so we place the temperature uh, for the temperature stresses we place the distribution bars or uh, we can also call as the temperature reinforcement these distribution bars sometimes also call as the temperature reinforcement or the shrinkage reinforcement now due to the creep creep means that with the life with the life of the structure it going to produce some stresses with the life so with the lifetime so what we do we also place the distribution bars and these distribution bars are responsible to take the creep stresses which are coming with the with the passage of the time the third one is the shrinkage stresses which is uh, which are same as the temperature stresses due to the temperature change it expand and shrink uh, during the change in the temperature of the slab so what happens there are tension and compression creates are throughout in the slab and these bars distribution bars are responsible to take the uh, temperature and shrinkage stresses along the longer direction so this was the main reason that why we provide these distribution bars and distribution bars also called as the temperature reinforcement temperature reinforcement and are the shrinkage reinforcement and it should must be provided in the slab However, in the two-way slab, in the two-way slab in which the uh, in which the longer to shorter span ratio is less than two, so in this case, uh, we we provide the main and distribution bars, but their function is to take the both the load because the longer direction have also take the more load. So there is a, so there is provision of the distribution bars in both the in both the sides, longer side as well as the shorter side. In case of the two-way slab, but in case of the one-way slab. The, there is no need to provide the distribution bars but to resist these three type of stresses and to take some load we provide the distribution bars 
so this was the today topic and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video